Hey, hey, happy travelers. Welcome to Sandals Royal Bahamian here in Nassau, Bahamas. That's right, a Sandals Resort located just about 20 minutes from the cruise pier and it features its own offshore island. Now we just stayed here for the grand reopening back in January. So if you're interested in seeing that, be sure to check out our Sandals Royal Bahamian playlist where you can have all of the action. We had three nights stay, so daily videos from all of that. But for today's video, we wanna take you around and give you a full and complete tour of the entire resort, show you all the public spaces, all the restaurants, and even head over to the offshore island. So let's go ahead and get it started. Our tour of Sandals Royal Bahamian begins right now. All right, so you see our sign over there with the waterfall behind it, quite beautiful, Sandals Royal Bahamian. We are here at the Port of Kashir. So this is where your taxi will drop you off with Rolls Royce, if you're in the higher end rooms, will drop you off here, or your uh, van, whatever kind of travel arrangements you have, they'll drop you off here at the Port of Kashir. They will take the luggage from you get you checked in here usually have some live music like they do today and then we come through here into the main area so now to our left here is reception this is the main lobby area this is where you'll go to check in if you're staying in a luxury level room let's head inside and take a look so if you're staying club or butler level you will check in in a different area I'll show you that in just a minute but again this is for the luxury level room check-in as well as just general reception and actually right here next to the Port of Kashir, we can turn and find the resort shop. So this is the gift shop here at the resort. Let's head inside and take a look. Ooh, nice air conditioned space in here. So they have, hello. So they have all kinds of uh, speakers, headsets, uh, earbuds here. They even have a cigar case over here. They're gonna have all kinds of souvenirs. So shot glasses, wooden surfboards, tumbler mugs, things like that. They even have some Jamaica blue coffee, mugs, things like that, magnets, keychains, lots of options. Over here, they have some apparel options, different kinds of t-shirts with some awesome retro designs on them. Oh, I love this uh, spirit jersey, great color on that. Lots of fun stuff inside of here. Hats, polo shirts, they even have some rubber ducks. That's an interesting choice. And then again, soon you're just continuing on photo frames, little jars with sand, lots of different options you can get there. Stuffed animals and toys for the kids. They even have some snacks that you can purchase. They have sunglasses, Ray-Bans, and even have some alcohol and some non-alcoholic drinks as well. If you need any medication, sunscreen, aloe, things like that are available for purchase as well. And there's even and upstairs, let's check that out really quick. So upstairs, we're just gonna find a lot more of the same kind of stuff, more t-shirts and clothes, some different bags, hats, other things, sundresses, flip-flops, jewelry, all kinds of options here in the gift shop. Back outside, so right now for this part of the tour, this Neptune Poseidon Fountain is gonna be our point of reference. So again, general reception and check-in for luxury level rooms to our left. We're gonna head to our right. We do have stairs or a ramp here. And again, don't worry because when you arrive, they will point you in the right direction. The wonderful sandal staff here will get you going wherever you need to go. So don't, don't worry about getting too confused about which area you need to head in. They will get you pointed out there. So you see this sign here says Butler Elite. So we're gonna have our Butler check-in area here and then right next door is not really designated but you see the sign that says East Bay there the only designation is the floor mat that says club sandals so if you're club level you'll check in here let's take a look at the Butler Elite check-in area first and then we'll swing back for the club area so here is a look at the Butler Elite area here got the desk there to help you get checked in and then the couch is where you can sit and wait all right, so now we'll head into this building marked East Bay, but again, on the floor mat, club sandals right there. Let's head inside and take a look. So this area is going to be much, much larger. You're gonna have some couches and chairs you can wait at while they get you ready to get checked in. They'll bring you champagne upon arrival, water if you'd prefer, something to drink. They usually have little snacks in here as well. Desks throughout if you need assistance with something. They also have a board over here with the entertainment schedule posted on the, the television there. And then again, tables and chairs throughout. And as we proceed forward on our right, we have our Club Sandals desk here where they can assist you with anything you need over on that area. And then the couches and chairs continue throughout to our little lounge area. So we have some uh, right here, they've got some uh, cookies out in the jar there, pre-wrapped, you can grab those. Over here we have some, uh, what is this, tropical flamboyance drink. 
Oh my goodness, so I have a drink of the day there. Usually have the TV run in here with the news. They do have some books and board games you can grab there. There's a special coffee machine. You can get those different kind of drinks like espresso, cappuccino, things like that, as well as some teas there. And of course they can mix you up a drink if you would prefer. There's also a fridge here that has some cold drinks inside of it. Sodas, juices, usually water, stuff like that that you can grab. So then off of our main club entry area, we come over here, we see our sign says guest rooms and elevators, so we can head down the hall there. If you are staying here in the East Bay building to get to the rooms, we can also come this way to access another public area. You see the sign there, it says Balmoral Club. So we can come inside here and you'll see there's the piano with the bar seats built in. So again, it's our piano bar here. In the evening, this place gets hopping. As you can see, plenty of places to chill out, lounge. I love all the artwork they put up in here. It's very nice as well. And then when we come through in the middle, we'll find our large bar area. Be mixing up the drinks. Again, at night, this place is absolutely hopping. So you'll wanna come here for your good times. Good drinks, good vibes, good music, lots of fun. And as we exit that room, we'll see we're kind of in a little middle thoroughfare here. You can go outside either way. They do have some couches and chairs in here. This is also where they had us wait for our COVID test results so we could go back home after our stay. I'm not sure if that's still what they're doing here, but I know they were using that this area for that this, at that time. Uh, here you see the billiards room sign, although as I look inside, I can see they're actually doing some remodeling still in there looks like they're fixing up the tables but normally this is where you would be able to go in and play billiards in the billiard well this one says singular billiard billiard this one has the plural billiards room right there they also do have some restrooms off to the side step back outside now again here's our point of reference for this area our poseidon fountain so our portic shears there main check-in there reception butler lounge and club check-in over there and then we just kind of wound our way through uh, the piano bar area and then into this area we access the billiards room so now that we are back outside we're actually going to step through and go this direction so right on our left we'll see the sign here says administrative offices so if you are have a meeting or some sort you need to speak to one someone in the administration this is where you will find them uh, located their offices are back there through these doors I think that's usually more by appointment only if you actually need to get someone's attention or talk to someone first I do encourage you to head over to the main reception area but these are where the uh, offices are located in opposite of the administrative offices you'll see they have the uh, small desk here this is actually where you come and fill out to do your COVID test to return home at least at the time of, of this video and the time of our stay back in January so you actually head inside there to do the COVID testing and then wait in that other area I showed you for the results. So we turn away from our testing area and administrative offices and we'll come down this little path off to the left here kind of winds through the foliage and what we will find is the wedding lounge so of course sandals is known for their destination weddings they have a great weddings team that can help you get everything set up and let's go ahead and take and see if we can take a look inside the wedding lounge here. So they have the waiting area right when you come in, the couch and the chairs, the TV playing, they have the different photos up to give you some different ideas. And then they have different rooms they can take you to, do different consultations, show you the different options that you can add on for your wedding here at Sandals Royal Bahamian or any other Sandals location really. And as we continue past the wedding lounge, come down the sidewalk here we can go off to the right into the new island village we'll get to that in just a little bit we're actually going to come over here to the left you see the gazebo there you'll see gazebos all throughout sandals properties many of them used for aforementioned wedding locations and just nice photo opportunities nice place to relax it looks like this is supposed to be like a shuffleboard court or something they may have not repainted it yet but there's kind of a space there. I think that's what that's intended to be used for. Or, oh, I'm sorry, maybe this is for croquet, although I thought croquet was played on the lawn. Yeah, there they have the uh, thing set up for croquet, but you can get the, uh, the clubs and, or the mallets, I should say, and the balls right there. You see that sign says tennis court too, so normally they would have the tennis courts set up here. I think this is under uh, refurbishment as well because they have some cars parked over there, but you can see, let me take you over here. So here you go, this is tennis court number one. You can see this is still set up for a, uh, for a proper tennis court here. And you can look at all the country's flags in the background along the driveway there.
And right next to the tennis courts, you'll see this little pavilion, little gazebo thing here. And you can see this is where they have the equipment for tennis, the rackets and the balls set up right there. So we have the croquet lawn there. And then the sidewalks just continue to pass, continue winding back here through the foliage and uh, around the island village we'll see the see the main entrance to that and just a little bit in another area so croquet lawn and tennis courts there and then our wedding lounge that we already saw here we're just going to cut back through and go back into the central area so that is the path that we took to get to the wedding lounge and the tennis courts and the croquet lawn right next to that here we have snapshots as you can see photo and video creations at sandals so they have professional photographers set up throughout the resort you can do different photo sessions they can take your photo in different areas along the resort you see they have some examples up in the window and then that's where you just go in to purchase those different photos meet with them arrange those different sessions things like that so right next to snapshots we'll turn here and we will find island routes Caribbean adventures so if those of you who are familiar with cruising you know about shore excursions that's essentially what island routes is you can do different excursions of course for an additional cost uh, throughout the island throughout different areas you can speak to the team here they do have brochures you can grab for information or you can speak to the team for assistance they'll get you set up with those as well well, you can book these in advance of your stay too and uh, you'll have lots of great options there with island routes so just past island routes things really start to open up here you can see we have a pool area there in front of us we'll get to that in just a little bit if you look back here you'll see the balmoral club sign so that's where we went in earlier with the uh, billiards room and the piano bar and all that stuff and then into the east bay building there with the different rooms so all of that is back that way we have the pools and restaurants ahead of us there but we're actually going to turn this way to our left a couple of things we want to see first of all there is another gazebo here so another opportunity for a wedding or an event of some kind and I want to definitely point this out because this is an amazing photo opportunity at this telephone booth that they've painted pink have it covered in the flowers awesome awesome aesthetic there get some great shots at that photo booth and now we're gonna proceed forward here and we're gonna turn into the island village so entering the island village this is a whole new area they've redone these rooms built them up here they're still getting some of them opened up as you can see we have the the fences there with the scrim up but those are just different buildings with different rooms they do have some open now so you can see they have the buildings here I think that one's open maybe that pink one over there so this is a really nice area they're gonna have some different kind of room styles available for you here in the island village and it's just kind of a different take you can see it's got that kind of I don't want to say Key West vibe to it, but a little bit. And of course, it's called the Island Village. It, it does reflect the many buildings of like Nassau, for example. Uh, on our cab ride over here from the cruise port, we saw buildings that look like this, the various different colors, like this one's blue, the pink one over there. So it has a really nice vibe to it. Some beautiful landscaping here in the Island Village. Again, still being worked on, but some buildings are already open and ready for your enjoyment. So Island Routes, Snapshots, Wedding Lounge this way, Island Village to our right, and Balmoral Club, East Bay Building to our left and then you'll see we come to our first main pool area here you can see there's going to be tons and tons of lounge chairs sofas comfortable seating around at night they turn these uh the flames come on on these little pedestals here in the fountains which is really really cool and then you see you have this large pool area of course with the sandals logo in the tile work on the bottom of the pool there are hot tubs on either side so you have one there and there's one further away on the other side as well they do have the swim up bar under the pavilion there so you can swim right up they have stools built into the water you can get your drinks over there they do have some built-in tables and like slight seating area right there in the water as well now back behind that pool area off just to the right of island routes and that photo booth i showed you is a new restaurant called canoe let's go ahead and head inside and take a look they do have some outdoor seating want to point that out tables and chairs out here covered under the pavilion but let's head inside and look at the restaurant itself so right when we come in we'll see they do have some couches you can sit here in case you need to wait for your table they have some nice decor up on the shelves and then you can see nice big open airy restaurant here i love the uh the nautical theming of the decor right when you come in i think they do different styles if i remember correctly like in the morning is uh, like a breakfast buffet so you can see that's why they have the buffet station set up there and over on this area as well the juicer over on that side so they get lots of things going and then i think for lunch it's it's a uh, table service option that's what we had when we stayed here and i think they were planning to do dinner here as well but at last check they did not have that yet but a nice option here at Canoe. Oh, and I should probably mention the cuisine, which is more of like a Caribbean style. 
Caribbean style cuisine. I think breakfast is just standard, but Caribbean style lunch. All right, so we've come around to the other side of the pool here. Here's that other hot tub I mentioned. You see the swim up bar right over there to our left. But we're gonna turn around here and we will find the loyalty and travel desk. So this is where you want to come and book your next sandal or beach stay. You'll receive a discount for booking on resort. As long as the stay that you're currently on was booked with a travel agent, you can send this new booking to the travel agent as well. So you want to come to the loyalty and travel booking center and have a meeting with them. They'll get you squared away on that next vacation. So right next to the pool here with the swim up bar, we come down these stairs and hidden away here under the rooms of the East Bay building is the Red Lane Spa. So of course, this is where you're gonna come in, get all your different spa treatments. Let's go ahead inside and take a look at the lobby. So here's the lobby. When you come in, they have the different products, the waiting area, and then the check-in desk here. Oh, so the spa attendant's desk as we come in here. This is the waiting area along with the lockers right here. All right. So they do have the steam and sauna room here, currently closed due to COVID protocols, but you'll find them inside here uh, in the washroom area, sinks here, and then they have the uh, changing areas back here as well. So across from the loyalty and travel desk and actually right here next to our swim up bar, quickly wanted to point out this awesome waterfall feature they have. But if we come up the stairs here, we will find the Calico Cafe. Casual eatery, it's only open for lunch 11 to four. It is table service, so you can get some nice eating options there we actually ate here today during our day visit and we enjoyed it so you see they have seating out on the outer edge here and then seating up under the pavilion as well they have a nacho bar help yourself make your own nachos up there at the calico cafe as well highly recommend this for a casual lunch eatery so you see the calico cafe across from us there this is the beginning of that waterfall feature we have our swim up bar and then our pool comes around on to this side loungers with umbrellas all throughout we do have a freshwater shower over here as well. And then I wanted to just kind of come over to this area. It's kind of an informal spot, but they do have little hammocks set up, beanbag chair rockers on this little platform. They will get a fire going at night there. And then that kind of just takes you to the end of the resort. You can see that fence over there and that dock. That's the end of the resort this way. Here we have the uh, swim up pools for the uh, swim up suites that they added during the renovation. So in the East Bay Village here, East Bay Building, excuse me, you can get those swim up suites. That's what that pool is for. And then you can head right down to the beach. You see they have the lounge chairs there, the uh, covered gazebos that you can get for the day all along the, uh, all along the beach there and head out. You got the steps down on this side as well. And if you come back around here, they do have the volleyball nets set up here on the sand. And along the beach sidewalk, I'll call it here, they do have these little platforms built into the rail so you can set your drink down or even if you're having a snack or something like that, enjoy the views of the beach and enjoy your eats and drinks. So you see the volleyball nets over there that we mentioned before. You see the Calico Cafe right there across the way. Now all of these palm trees here, these day beds, beanbag chairs, they have cornhole set up, all of this in the sand here. And with these lights and rigs, this is the all new Coconut Grove. This is where the party is at night. That's what all these lights and rigs are for. They'll have different parties, different themed nights uh, throughout your stay. So you'll definitely want to come down here at Coconut Grove. During the day, you can chill out, relax, listen to the music at night. It is going to be party central and then you do have the coconut grove bar there as well with those suspended swing chairs how nice is that you can hop up in the swing get a little swing action going on while you're enjoying your drink and uh just taking the tunes they also even have a foosball table right there as well so lots of fun here at the all new coconut grove and i want to give the bar its proper due this is bar coco that's the name of it bar coco and next to Bar Coco, I mentioned the foosball table. They also have a ping pong table set up. Also want to point out these things that look like lamps. At night, they light up great different colors. Lots of fun. They're also heaters in case it gets a little cool and chilly. I know you're thinking, in the Bahamas, it happened to us while we were here. So it is possible. So here we have our all new food trucks. This one is Sweetened Tings. And then this one over here is Coco 
Queen. So Coco Queen serves up some of your Bahamian favorites. Sweets and things will have like cookies and crepes, things like that. There will also be a third food truck coming here that will be called Bahama Mamma Mia. It's gonna be serving up uh, pizza and other Italian bites. But you can get food from all these food trucks. They'll actually serve you out here on the tables as well. And you can just enjoy the music, enjoy the vibes, enjoy the views next to Coconut Grove, out to the water, get your sunshine on, and have a great time. All right, so we see our pool back behind us there, loyal and travel desk there on our right if we turn here we'll see this nice water feature and the uh, coconut grove behind us the food trucks we're actually going to turn around here because there's a couple of different eateries inside this building of which there is some outdoor lounge space as we walk up let's head inside so you see here the signs say butch's island chop house that is the steakhouse here on resort and la plume is the french restaurant there's another location in here as well let's go ahead and head inside and take a look all right, so we're inside now. Let's take a left here and we'll see our bar centrally located. And then we turn to the right and we will find the actual steakhouse restaurant here. You can see they have the seating all the way back there. I love the color scheme in here, the blues and golds. And they have everything set up. You can come in and have a lovely, lovely meal here at Butch's. They even have the piano set up for some live music as well. Let's head across here. We're gonna go through those doors. You can see the signs above and on the left. Say La Plume, again, the French restaurant. Let's head inside there. All right, so here is the La Plume restaurant. First thing I wanna point out, we love the uh, clam shell chairs that they've added in here. Nice, bright, airy space. Love the flamingo artwork. Got the tropical colors coming in here. And then over on this side, we do have the floor to ceiling windows so you can look out to that beautiful sunny view here in the Bahamas as well as to that pool that we've been checking out outside. So it's a nice, lovely space here. Come in, get your French cuisine. You can even sit in the back there. They have that different section set up. They'll take good care of you here at La Plume. So Butch is in La Plume through that doorway over there. We turn here and we'll find this little seating area. Area. This is right outside of the Queen's Pearl. This is the pub at resort. They also have this room here right before you go into the pub where they'll do like nightly entertainment and music and things like that. So not, uh, not hopping right now, but come in the evening and this will be a jumping spot. So here we go. This is our main pub area. You see they have the seating all the way around. So you can come in and just get drinks here at the bar centrally located if you like. They do have the televisions mounted up throughout playing live sports and other things. But you can come in and eat here as well in the evenings. Grab some dinner if you like. We did that during our stay and we thoroughly enjoyed it wraps all the way around here here you got the nice windows you can see out to the pool out to the water out to the west bay all around there here at the queen's pearl all right so we have the uh, loyalty and travel butches the queen's pearl and la plume all back right there coconut grove and the food trucks there and then we'll proceed forward here and we will find our next main pool area here in the west bay village so this is going to be the west side of the resort here you can see nice big pool again the sandals logo put into the tiles of the pool floor there what else would you expect at a sandals resort got our swim up bar down there at the pavilion overlooking the waters of the ocean out to the beach there nice big pool area lots of entry points of course lounge chairs all around with umbrellas to get you that shade get out of that hot sun so you can cool off and refresh now we're gonna head right up here and check out some more restaurants so you see this outdoor eating area here wanted to point out that this is for the Queen's Pearl so again that pub that we were just inside of but if we continue on in here we'll actually find another eating establishment actually two of them paired together what is it the door doesn't really say you have to come around to the side here to see the sign it's kimonos and soy so right when we come in we have our desk here you see it says soy sushi bar so it's going to be the sushi area and then kimonos is hibachi let's go ahead and head up here and take a look at the kimonos hibachi area so you see they got the table set up back here and it just continues on around it's actually a pretty big space inside here at kimonos hibachi now off to the other side to the right we have soy which is our sushi spot on board so you see we have the tables and chairs here they have the sushi bar up top as well as some additional seating and they actually have a cool neon sushi sign over there although it's not lit up right now we saw it when we dined so it's not the biggest venue but it's definitely delicious come and enjoy all your sushi favorites and uh, have a nice view 
you out the windows there. All right, so we've checked off the pub, we've checked off kimonos, we've checked off soy, and as we turn here, we will find another eating establishment, Tesoro. This is the Italian location here at the resort. Let's head inside. So right when we come in, we do have some uh, nice benches if you need to sit and wait a little bit for a table. As you can see, they have this elevated dining area here in the middle, up the stairs. They have that nice natural skylight coming down in the middle. Over to the left, this is where going to be your antipasta station. So this will basically be a buffet style. Have lots and lots of good food over here. Highly recommend checking that out when you come to Tesoro. They'll also have the table service, of course, where they'll bring you a menu and you can order your different items. Seating also allowed around on the lower level over there I wanted to point up here to this glass dome with those colored tiles around quite beautiful and in the evening you got the nice bricks here the lights lit up it's really a nice romantic intimate spot and it's got that family style feel to it because it is Italian and again that antipasta station over here really brings it we thoroughly enjoyed this was our favorite one of our favorite spots we ate at during our stay so we highly recommend it so just past the Soro restaurant there you see our West Bay building with our swim up suites you can see they have the pool there you just swim right up to your room that is a new offering here at the resort and they have the other the rooms up the building as well if we turn around to our left you actually have the entrance to the island village which is not yet open they're still working on that we're actually going to head inside the west bay building here take a look at a couple different things all right so right when we enter the building here you will find the elevator and the hallways off to either side that will take you to the rooms but if we proceed forward through this area we will actually find our conference space so you do have some conference rooms here on resort like the windsor boardroom you can see right there and actually over here we also have the nurses station open nine to five daily you can head inside there and uh visit them if you need to hopefully not hopefully you don't need to but if you, if that should arise that's where you can find that they also have some restrooms here as well and right next to the nurses station come through these big wooden doors and we find the rest of our conference room space they actually have a piano set up over there which is pretty cool and the uh, large tv so yeah if they're having some kind of meeting here if they're having a conference or a convention they have this space that you can utilize with the different room breakout sessions and all of that stuff and they even continue the theming with the art all around as well and then uh, it goes around there to the outside to the exit point so nice big conference space here should you need that and just to give you an idea here's a look at one of those rooms that you could use they have it set up for a presentation right now as you can see it's pretty good size and this is the entrance point to one it looks like there's four or excuse me three other doors over here as well or maybe two maybe two for the the rooms and then that looks like a, a service area actually over there so a nice big convention space here all right let's take a second and get reoriented here so you can see east bay buildings way over there coconut grove with the food trucks there centrally located and as well as those other restaurants like gordon's la plume kimono soy tesoro and then over here to the west bay building in those swim up suites right there at the bottom rooms up top in the west bay building and now what we're going to do is turn and walk along our pool here towards the uh, the swim up bar there's a couple of things to show out by the beach so let's go check those out so right at the end of the west bay building we turn and we'll find the sandals aqua center so this is where you're going to come sign up for those snorkel excursions and scuba dive excursions that are included with your stay here at sandals if you're scuba certified that is if you're not you can do the uh, snorkeling tour anyone's available to do that and you see they have the hours of operation the information posted here and they also have some items for purchase like snorkel masks and um, just regular snorkels and waterproof cases for your phone things like that so they'll get you set up here at the aqua center and this is where you can also rent things for your included water activities no additional cost for the hobie cat sailors or the aqua trikes stand-up paddle boards kayaks things like that again all included here with your stay at sandals so you get just get your set up right here for all of those different things any kind of water excursions they'll get you checked in and arranged for that here at the aqua center and then past our aqua center we do have the beginning of the beach on this side again all those covered areas the uh, shaded loungers the uh, standard lounge chairs out in the sun and then over to the dock and pier area
All right, so we are now out here on the main dock and pier. Wanted to come out and show you. So out here is where you will pick up the boat for excursions like the daily snorkeling or the daily scuba diving. But also if you want to go over to the offshore private island, that is the boat that's pulling up right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's show you the boat experience. Let's head over to the island and check it out and see what all is going on over there. Last thing I wanted to point out here, Gordon's over the water restaurant at the end of the pier here so you can actually dine here in the evening for dinner on the pier looking out at the beautiful water and enjoying that wonderful sunset view so as you can see the boat will dock right here up next to the pier so you will get on you actually do have to remove your shoes to get on board but then you can have a seat and we'll set sail and head on over to the island We see the sign there. We have landed here at the pier on the offshore island. Let's go take a look. All right, so right when we come off the pier, you'll see that they have a like boardwalk area with lounge chairs and umbrellas there. And it goes right out to the beach there. So you can go check out that, get in the sand, get a lounge chair out there, or just head into the water. They do have it buoyed off over on this side. So if you wanted to swim there, that would certainly be an option for you as well as over on this side. And here's a little better look at the beach area over on this side of the docks. Again, they got the loungers, some umbrellas, out there as well lots of beach space you can get in the water and go for a swim if you would like now back behind us on the other side here we will find the bar here in the middle so you can see they got the seats there all around the bar wraparound bar and then under the uh, big building here is the Aurelia house so this is the offshore grill this is one of the dining establishments that you can eat at here on the island so everything else is going to be located over at the main resort area on shore but they do have the restaurant Aurelia house here on the island and you can see there is the sign for the Aurelia House restaurant as you come up here. Got lots of tables and chairs under the covered pavilion, so plenty of shade. And they also have ceiling fans as well. Now, opposite of the Aurelia House, we do see a bar here. This is actually next to the pool. It's a swim bar, so they have built-in seats down there. And it's not a huge pool, but it's nice that they have a pool that you can use over here on the island. Lounge chairs all the way around it. Nice big pool deck and a nice water feature over there as well. Well, I'm sure someone would like to know and they do indeed have restrooms here on the island just around the backside of the Aurelia House restaurant. You can see they have some gazebos out here of different sizes. You can lounge under the shade, read a book, just relax. I'm sure they could probably do some events out here as well if that's something you're interested in. You do have swimming on this side and it is much, much calmer over here on this side of the island. The water, there's not really any waves rolling in. They do have it buoyed off so you don't go out too far because you don't want to get into some danger currents or out on the shoals or on the reef or anything like that but look at that beautiful gorgeous water nice swimming area beach goes all the way over there and you can actually go on the beach this way as well so lots of great outdoor options here on the island so you see Aurelia house restaurant our swim up bar and our pool right there and then we turn to our left we'll also find a jacuzzi hot tub with a nice deck platform with some lounge chairs up here as well and then you can continue on out to the beach like we mentioned before so Aurelia house and our pool with our swim up bar right there our dock over there I wanted to point out they do have some nice swings here so if you wanted to take in that stiff breeze and enjoy the views back over to the mainland you can do so on these swings here also have a nice walk through Zen Gardens area here really like this looks like there's a fire pit over here by the water so to get that going in the evening have a nice fire there we turn around here we actually have some lawn space with a covered gazebo here as well and then as we continue we're just going to find lots of different lounging options so there's gazebos with beanbag chairs there's hammocks out in the sun here beanbag rockers more hammocks over here and so just lots of options this gazebo has a day bed pointed back to the to the mainland there's swings down there on the beach so lots 
lots of great things you can do, different areas you can lounge in, different kind of furniture that you can use, whatever you're most suited for. Looks like they have a cross net area set up over here. So if you wanna play some cross net, you can do that. And as you see, just periodically, there's different little gazebos, some with couches, some with lounge chairs, some with hammocks, some with day beds, lots and lots and lots of lounging options along the beach here and the sidewalk that continues throughout. So it makes it easier to transverse the island. And as we continue down our Zen Gardens path here, you'll see some covered huts with little tables. You can walk up and put your drink on or a snack, should you have that. It's an option for you. And then you'll see this little sign that says Red Lane Spa. So yes, we saw the, the main spa area back over at the resort, but they have an off-campus spa, could we call it here. You can actually get set up. They have the main desk right over there under that gazebo. So you can check in there for your treatments. They'll do massages and other things out here at at these various gazebos. In fact, you can see over there in that gazebo, it's covered right by the water. They're actually having a massage treatment right now. So lots of cool options. It's really cool that you can do the spa treatments out here on the island in addition to the uh, standard resort area on shore. And you see here at the very end of the path, it kind of goes up to a point there with those gazebos at the end. I do believe they use those for weddings. Unfortunately, they do have that caution taped off right now. So that part is not quite ready, but that is the end of the path. You see, look back here, that is the spa check-in desk. So now we can head back to the main area of the island. And here's a look at this end of the beach, all the way at the end again, those gazebos continuing on down. And then the open views, that beautiful blue and green water all the way around you can see back over to paradise island atlantis resort the cruise ships sailing in and out back to the main part of the island And with that, we've kind of made the full circle. We're back here at the pier again, Gordon's Over the Water Restaurant at the end. This is where you'll pick up the boats again for the uh, daily snorkeling or scuba diving excursions or to go over to the offshore island. They do have the A-frame sign here with the different times to the island and then back to the hotel. So there you have it. That's our tour of Sandals Royal Bahamian and Offshore Island. We hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful and informational as you plan your vacation here to Nassau, Bahamas to stay at Sandals Royal Bahamian. And if you're interested in doing that or staying at any of the other Sandals or Beaches locations all throughout the Caribbean, we can make that happen. We're travel advisors. We partner directly with Sandals. We have a great relationship with them and we can get you here. It's absolutely free of charge to use our services. We have no costs or fees whatsoever. So feel free to reach out via that travel agent information you can find in the description of this video. You can also visit our website, hoffmanhappytravels.com. Com. We'll look forward to hearing from you soon. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us for today's video. We'll see you next time. Happy travels!